Hey music friends, this is Davi Vasca, a music composer for games, and following our series on the God Serpents from Monster Hunter Rise, we already did Ibushi, so today we're going to listen to and talk about the theme for the Thunder Serpent Narwa. Let's go! Very imposing sounding brass. Anticipation. That's a cool intro. Check this out. It's very interesting how they used a very surprising chord here in the beginning to build anticipation. Check this out. So, this chord here. It's a tense chord, so they're obviously building anticipation and tension for the next part, but this chord doesn't belong in this key, so it's kind of a surprise chord. It gives you that sensation of, whoa, what is this? I, I wasn't expecting this. And listen to how it sounds in relation to the previous chord. This, this movement of, of one note above sounds kind of imposing and intimidating, but also listen to this melody on the brass right here. Sounds familiar? To me this sounded a bit familiar, but I was struggling to figure out where this was from, and it seems to me like it's a callback to the Rampage theme, which of course would make total sense, because Narwa is after all the causer of the Rampage. And it can be a bit tricky to hear it, I took a while to figure out why this sounded so familiar, because on the Rampage theme the tempo is completely different and they add some filler notes, but I'll try to show you, check this out. On the Rampage theme it sounds like this. And here on Narwa's theme it sounds like this. So, you see, the basic skeleton of the melody is basically the same. This next part is very interesting too. Now... Listen to how gentle this sounds. Is this really a, a final boss theme? It sounds so tender and gentle. And this is the kind of thing in this theme that makes the Narwa battle so difficult for me particularly to, to process emotionally. While the Ibushi theme of course had its share of uh, longing and suffering, it was also very filled with rage and, and madness, but the Narwa theme... Look at this, it's, there's this, these interludes of, of kindness and some hints of motherly uh, love so gentle oh and this you can even hear this flute here which is the same flute that they used on the ibushi theme so to me this feels like a moment of of tender memories and tender thoughts of narwa towards ibushi Okay, vocals. Feels a bit more aggressive now. And listen to this note pattern on the strings. This kind of note pattern, like this is a triplet. It means that they, the, the composer crammed three notes on a time space where there usually would be two notes. So usually a note pattern without triplets would sound like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? It's two notes on a given space of time. Uh, and with triplets, it sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's the same tempo, I, I'm snapping my fingers in the exact same tempo, but I'm fitting three notes there on that time space 
instead of two. And the fact that there are more notes there uh, makes the, the piece a bit more chaotic and tense. Uh, but also, this note pattern reminds me a lot of Scherzo. And Scherzo is a classical music uh, genre of music with this same characteristics of fast tempo and triplets. Uh, and it's a the interesting thing is that it's a dance genre of music. And it's so interesting of them to choose a dance configuration like this. I personally have always thought that Monster Hunter battles always feel kind of like a dance. And especially Narwa's battle because uh, there are some elements of, of bullet hell and sometimes you have to go up to avoid the beams and when the cannons rise up on the platforms you have to go up. So it's like she's the maestro and everybody else is dancing to her rhythm. Okay, this is much more aggressive now. There's a build up and still with the triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, build up. Oh, and the build up culminates on another kind and gentle part. No, the interesting thing is this gentle parts are always vocalless and this goes back to something that I observed on my Ibushi video as well is that it seems like they were leaving empty spaces for a duet to happen but of course one of the parts is missing so the duet doesn't happen this happens here as well and the uh, the parts where the vocal is missing here are always so gentle and also have that, that presence of, the, of that Ibushi flute. This makes me think even more that these vocalless parts here are supposed to make a reference to the longing of Narwa for Ibushi. And listen to this, there's so much love and passion into this melody here. Man, what a melody. Okay, so the vocals come back here. And something that I forgot to say about the vocals. You guys confirmed for me that the, the singers are indeed the same singers of Hinoa and Minoto. So this is the same thing, singer of Minoto because of course in the, in the story Narwa possesses Minoto and sings through her the same way that Ibushi does with Hinoa. But the interesting thing about the singer for Minoto is that she's more of an alto singer and alto in music uh, is just a classification that we give to singers. Alto means that it's a woman, it's usually a woman that sings lower uh, register, lower pitched as opposed to soprano which is a woman that sings higher pitched. And this alto quality gives Narwa a more gentle voice, you know, a lower voice, which of course uh, it's, in is, it's interesting because it emphasizes these aspects of kindness and gentleness and motherly love that we've been already observing here. Okay, it's getting to the climax. What gets me the most about this? There's so much suffering and tragedy, but at the same time kindness and some kind of, of wisdom. And this is the the Narwa melody that we hear in so many other places in the soundtrack, right? Right, this melody. And also, listen to this. Am I alone in this? See if you can hear in these chords a contrast between suffering pain and a kind of wise motherly kindness.
We only have almost an hour ahead of us now. Until I make that video, make sure to check out the video I did on Ibushi if you haven't already. And if you have watched that, here I have a playlist with all the reactions I've done to Monster Hunter music so far. Whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.